On the southeast coast of the United Arab Emirates is the towering city of Dubai. It's fast become one of the richest and most powerful cities in the region. A symbol of its dominance is the imposing structure of the Burj Khalifa. It's the world's tallest man-made structure at 2,722 feet. When Transworld Sport was in town, at its base in Dubai's trade center, a slightly more ground level activity was taking place. The inaugural International Underwater Target Shooting Championship. South African Chris Coates was in charge of proceedings. It's really exciting, we've got a pool competition which is the International Underwater Target Shooting which is the first time in the area. It's a really unique competition. Um, I know there's been similar things around the world, but this is, um, the format's really different. It's man on man, the guys knock him out. It's really cool for the spe um, spectators. The event attracted both free divers and spear fishers. It's something in my blood, you know, I've born with that skill. I've been diving since I'm eight back home and here, but here I got it more into professional and I've done my own trainings and stuff to improve that skill. The water is pretty much a way of life for me. I've, since I can remember, I've pretty much been in and around the water. Usually I do it as a hobby, like once or twice a week go diving, but other than that, uh, first time to compete, so I was like, why not give it a try? I mean, I usually practice in the pool, right, but this is the first time I do a competition in the pool. Spearfishing is an ancient method of fishing that has been used throughout the world for thousands of years. Bringing an open water activity to the confines of a 25 meter pool was a challenge. The rules were strict. Two divers would face off in a best of three shoot off. On a judge's countdown, both divers plunged underwater and swam five meters to a weighted belt on the floor of the pool. Each shooter had to wait at this position for 30 seconds with their dummy fish target five meters in front of them. After the 30 seconds had elapsed, a torchlight was shone in front of the divers, indicating that they were free to take their shot. Bullseye was the eye of the fish. Once a shot was taken, the diver turned around and headed back to the starting point. Coming up for air meant instant disqualification for a competitor from that round of shooting. A judge checked the fish to see who had either hit the bullseye or had shot closest to the eye, confirming the winner of each round. It's fun, it's actually like easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, a little bit bleak that I got beaten by a freediver. <laughs> when this is actually like my, I, had, I thought I had the advantage. So congratulations to him, but yeah, it was good fun nonetheless though. Like. With the early stages quickly completed, the final of the championship was a tight affair. Saudi Arabia's Hazim Azouni took on Omar Al Galini of Oman. The two divers exchanged rounds in the early stages before both hitting a bullseye in the third round. It meant that the final went into sudden death. Omar had been consistent throughout the competition with a 100% target hit record. He scored another bullseye in the sudden death playoff to become the inaugural winner of the event. Missed shot and uh, it was very close, very close. But uh, this is spearfishing. And one inch can make a big difference. One inch can uh, get you the fish of a lifetime or you can lose your gear or, and everything. And... Yeah, you have to be uh, relaxed, uh, to focus in uh, when you dive. And uh, this is the first champion and hope uh, to continue every year. 